Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you the upgraded version of our recent credit management web app. In this video, we have added the login form and also add the two roles, the admin and user credit web data management app. So as like in our previous video, I already explained this web app very well. So many of the visitors are new in this video, don't watch the previous video. So we will explain them again. Okay. So here you can see we have add a logout button. When we press on the logout, you will see we are successfully logged out. So here we have in our login, we have three users, the admin, the user one and the user two. The admin can access all of the data. The admin can access all of the data and the users can access only his own data. And also in the history, what which user perform what action also recorded. Example, the user one add data for employee 456. The user, uh, the user Ramiz edited data for employee 001. Okay, so you can also have record. Okay, so here you will see the admin which just enter the username admin and also the password here. So you can change the exact uh, access type from here the admin and user. If you put here the user here instead of admin, then the username admin and password admin123 will be the uh, user not the admin right now it's admin because its user type is admin right now so when i click on the login please wait while we verify your credentials so you can see here i can see all of the data available in my google sheet so you can see here i can see all of the data available in my google sheet so here you can see a plus icon which shows you the remaining data which is not being adjustable in this screen size so it will automatically add a plus icon for responsiveness and you can see here the file 4 and the file 5 the, and the edit and the delete option if you want to delete this data you can simply delete it okay so when you delete this data the data is successfully deleted Okay, so you can see here, we cannot able to see the data. Also in our Google Sheet, the admin data will be removed. And in our history, so you can see here, admin login and admin delete this data for employee 001. Okay, uh, it's good. It's very good. So if you want to add a data, you just click on the add new and enter the ID 005. And also you can enter the name Ramiz. You can select the gender male. You can also select the address Lahore. You can also select the email ID. You can also select the phone, the organization, the position, and also you can select the files. Okay, so you can select any five files here at a time uh, and you can select less than five no problem that's not the major issues uh, for us so we just select the five files uh, right now for showing you that it will work to uh, uh, upload five files completely when i click on the submit icon so as in our previous video says the data will be saved in the assets name sheet okay so in your google drive assets name folder must have it the our code will check your go, whole google drive and found the assets name folder and if he found he will upload that files in that folder and set the url in our google sheet here so here you can see we have successfully data uploaded data saved successfully so in our folder the image we selected we have here okay that's good that's very good so here you can see i add the int the four five six uh, so you can see here the data is successfully comes here so i can see what i upload from here 
so you can see i can easily see and if i want to edit this data i just need to click on the plus icon so uh, it's not necessary that this plus icon is here why this is plus icons is here because our data is large and it cannot be completed in that space so for the responsiveness it can add a plus icon to view the remaining data so we can just enter on the edit icon and we can uh, if we select from male to female and click on the update so you can see here our data is successfully updated from male to female okay so you can see it's working successfully so when you log out so you can see also in our google sheet the data is successfully updated so in our history we can also check what we added the data added data for employee double zero three so you can see admin edit this data admin add this data okay that's good that uh, completely fine so i am going to log out and now i am going to log in as a user so you can see in our history admin log out in this date in this time okay so now we are going to log in with the user one so i enter the user one and also user the password okay so i enter so it will be verifying our data on the main time we will see the user one this user one and this user one in our data we must have these two datas so you can see here the user one and user two we found two data so we can see here the two data and here if we can implement a edit uh, action from male to female and n4 to n7 so we can update this data for employee 456 so you can see here the data is successfully updated and this also changed in our data base so if you refresh your web app it will not be log out until you press the log out button manually so how to set up this uh, crud web app in in your uh, end in your uh, email in your gmail so here uh, in the description a detailed video uh, uh, we give a link of a detailed video for set up the google sheets the link uh, the video uh, showing you the method not all videos with the same method but all videos installation method should be same so hope you like it you get it my point please subscribe please like must comment below that will motivate me definitely and i will create you videos and on my subscribers request i will start my videos in english so more audience can understand me and 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 in this cloud web app if you need any kind of customization if you need anything else you can contact us for customization any feature you will need to implement in this cloud web app we are able to help you all so thank you very much please keep watching my channel and also I hope you all are fine. So take care. Allah peace.